And here's a really big AK TV right here. Hi, so who are you? Hey, I'm Thomas from Metz and uh, we have a 120 inch LCD screen here. Uh, it's really, really big, of course. Uh, and it's really heavy, it's about 200 kilograms. So guys, uh, you can just uh, think about uh, if this is fitting in your living room. I think it's a really big display. Um, it's even heavier than me. Yeah, I, gu I guess, yeah. Um, you need, uh, they told us they need eight guys to set this up. Um, but I guess uh, it will fit into a doorway if the stand is, you know, it, it's not on it. Nice. This is LCD, right? Yes, this is LCD and with the resolution uh, 8K. So it's really clear, it's really big. And the important thing about this is it's made from one piece of LCD glass. So there are not, let's say, two or four panels uh, uh, stick together. Uh, it's one piece. Nice. Uh, so it's interesting to see what's going on in there. I can see dual coolers and then and then if we go uh, around here, yeah. you have an AK, AK 80 inch OLED. And uh, both that one and this one potentially next year, right? Well, um, now this, these are prototypes. You have uh, two of these uh, in, in the whole town now. Uh, one at our booth here, and I think the resolution is quite stunning. Also, the, the size, uh, it's the biggest OLED you can get. And uh, it's really cool. We have talked to our R&D guys, and they say, you know, 8K, it's uh, like there's, you know, an end for the for the human eye to see even a finer resolution. So 8K, it's it's uh, really the thing right now. And it's uh, it, it's in, officially it's in partnership with LG, right? Yeah. So. Uh, the OLED panels are coming from their factory. We also have another one here. Here's a more 8K also. 75Q90. Yes, and uh, this one is in a design with a, the Metz logo. So potentially it could come out as a Metz TV, right? Yeah, hopefully this will uh, come out soon. We have a very nice TV set here with a big sound bar system. And also with 8K resolution, it's a really nice picture. Some of them are using the OLED, some of them are using the LCD. Exactly. Um, of course, both uh, technologies are important right now. Um, uh, Especially in the smaller picture classes where there's no LED right now. And what is this TV here? This is our S9A model. We are selling this right now. And you know, it's a design OLED. It's, it has very exclusive optics, you know. It's very. Um, we have a, a really, really nice uh, smart, a really nice speaker. It's two way bus reflex. And it is directly to your ear, you know, it's not uh, front facing and uh, it's not down fire. You don't do the speaker on the screen, you do it from the... Well, we had a prototype last year actually, uh, but well, we think from the fine tuning of the sound, um, a, a conventional front speaker is, is even better. So what's the price of this one around? Uh, this is selling for $50.99 for 55 inches and uh, 2499 euros for 65 inches. So 2499. Yeah. 2500 euros. Yeah. 65. All right. And then uh, let's walk around. There's a lot of more things going on here. Some other TVs uh, with maybe. Android TV. Maybe maybe we take a look at this one. Yeah. Uh, the Q36 model and it's uh, quite interesting. It's our mid-range mid LCD and you know uh, we have them in uh, four sizes from uh, 43 inches up to 65 and it's an IPS display with a direct LED backlight and you even have uh, a little amount of local area dimming zones uh, from 49 inches up. And it's a really nice um, front speaker here. He has a small, a small speaker for the mids and the highs. And down here, it's um, you know it's really thick, and he has a, a, a big, a big woofer there. So it's a really nice sound for uh, a TV of, of its size. And good price? Yet I, I think so. Um, for the hardware you can get here, it's a really uh, good price. We start at uh, six ninety nine for 43 inches and then it's 799 899 for 55 inches and 1299 for 65 inches so we here at the, at the Mets um, 
oops, the Mets uh, Skyworth booth, right? Yeah. So we see some Skyworth logos and some Mets logos. So what's the what's the story? Mets and Skyworth. Yeah, uh, the story is uh, just simple. We uh, we are belonging to Skyworth. It's our mother company. It's a big Chinese manufacturer, very uh, successful in in, in Asia, uh, but not so well known here in Europe and. Um, we belong to the company and we have two brands. We have the Mets Blue brand where we were uh, right, now, uh, right now and um, we also have the uh, Mets Classic brand. What's the um, difference? The difference, um, Mets Blue is a brand, you know, all the products we are selling right now we have the Android uh, OS and uh, they have a single multi-tuner and so they are in a you know, middle price range. And Met Classic is in a premium price range. I guess a uh, very important thing is uh, these are made in Germany, so we have a production line here in, in Germany actually. And all the electronics and the software we are you know developing ourselves, so we can we can exactly tell what uh, what we want to have in the product. And you say it says here made in Germany. What does that yeah. mean? Well, that means uh, that we have research and development guys at our headquarters here in Germany. And we have also a uh, factory line where we build these TVs. Of course, with parts from all, all, over, all over the world. It's so it's the final assembly is yeah, in Germany. Yeah, the final assembly is here at us. And, then, and there's uh, some special things going on here, the way it looks like. With yeah, the this is uh, a small screen where you can see uh, what you are doing right now. Um, for example, here this the station name, or uh, if you wanna, you can switch this to the clock. Then you see the time here. It's a very nice little feature. All our classic TVs feature a uh, swivel, a swivel stand. They all have a really uh, powerful front speaker system, and um, depending on the model, we also feature built-in PBRs, so uh, hard disks to record TV, and also um, we have twin tuner. Um, models where you can, you know, record one thing and uh, record a second thing and watch another, and that's really cool. So this is uh, what is Topaz? Yeah, this is uh, Topaz? Topaz is the is the best model. Um, we feature a one terabyte PBR here. It has built-in Bluetooth and uh, also has a very nice remote control. Um, and he has a little subwoofer module in the back. Um, it plays down to 45 hertz, so you really have. Uh, Deep the best um, from this TV set. Nice. Uh, what's the price on that one? 65 inch. Well, this is our best model, and for this, with all the features I mentioned, uh, it's uh, 3999, so 4,000 euros, and the 55 inch is uh, 2999. Is this the one? Exactly. 55. 2999. Yeah. All right. What are we looking at here on the wall with all these different? Uh, what's yeah, the these range? Are two models we were at now. And there is uh, the Fineo OLED. It's um, a bit below the Topaz. It has a smaller hard disk. It has uh, no Bluetooth, and um, so you can get it a bit cheaper. So this one is uh, without the built-in subwoofer as well, but the sound is uh, pretty decent. And this one is to 699. But it's also OLED. Yeah, 55 oh. inches, 100 hertz OLED. And what we are presenting this this show uh, as, a, as a new thing are these two um, models up there. It's 43 and 49 inches LCD. And um, we especially developed and uh, built a, a, a panel that is uh, unique in the world. It has a uh, 100 hertz uh, direct LCD with uh, local area dimming zones. And for the small size of uh, 43 and 49, it has really a lot of uh, a lot of local area dimming zones. Uh, we are talking about 112 for the smaller and 160 for the uh, bigger model. So it really a little bit closes the gap between our entry model UHD, which is Edge LED with no local area dimming, and the stunning performance of the OLED screens. And this one really closes the gap because you know there are no uh, smaller OLEDs than 55 inches and. That's why we made uh, these models with the direct LED and local area dimming. So, uh, where, the, where can people buy Mets brand, and how, how do people find it? Well, Is it only um, Germany, no. No, uh, we are 
focusing with Metz Classic, we are um, uh, indeed focusing on the German-speaking countries like Switzerland, Austria and uh, Germany. But there are also some distributors, uh, for example, uh, in, uh, in Italy we are quite strong. Um, and, Scandinavia? Uh, no, unfortunately not mm -hmm. at the time. Um, not at the time. Um, with Met Blue, Metz Blue uh, is, is a bit stronger in Europe. There's uh, Spain. Uh, we have. Uh, we are planning to start in, in other countries as well. And with Metz Classic, for example, uh, you have to go to a specialized dealer because we think um, that uh, a very, uh, very good service is important, so that you get, uh, you know, the best, the best. Uh, the best explanation of the products before you buy. Best support. Best support after buying. Um, we also, for More example, difficult. we feature we feature uh, a long, long year uh, uh, support of, of spare parts. So it's not a product you have to throw away if there's any problem. And so we are, um, yeah, we are really, really close with the specialized dealers. What's the history of Metz? Well, Metz. Uh, is there like uh, started in the in the 1938 I, I think and uh, started with radios and then soon there were the first TV sets and it's always been a classic uh, German tr um, traditional brand consumer electronics consumer e electronics exactly um, Mrs. Metz owned the company uh, until 2014 and then we were bought uh, by Skyworks which is now our mother company. Nice, and potentially there could be plans for uh, expanding more in Europe and everything, right? Potentially. Well, potentially, Otherwise, some yes. other countries have some of these products similar, more um, something but with the uh, Skywars brand. Yeah, um, Skywars is not selling anything um, uh, under the own brand now. Um, not in Europe. They, not in Europe, exactly, because uh, we decided to use uh, Metz Blue brand instead, because it's a little bit uh, better known than Skyworth, uh, they were only active in uh, in Asia so far. It's, very, it's number one in Europe. China, I think. Yeah, it's one of the yeah. top in China TV. They are really big in China um, and also um, have a lot of business in the world, but until until the you know until they get uh, with Metz, uh, not in Europe. And so they are not very well known here and this is why we are using Metz Blue. But potentially in two, three, four years, we'll see uh, much more Mets all over Europe, not only well, in German-speaking areas. We will areas. hope so. All right, and might, maybe in the U.S. Any plans, USA? Um, well, you see, um, the concept of the products uh, is is a little bit uh, special. It's 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 a niche, it's like we European. like we are used to say. Yeah, we are really, you know, even going to Scandinavia is, is um, technically spoken a little bit uh, difficult because they have a lot of different standards. For example, also uh, we. Uh, we see that um, many countries they don't really have the uh, the dealers network we need for our for our needs of, of service and and repair and and, and uh, the things I mentioned. Um, so and it's not so easy for us to expand business. Okay, cool. But uh, looking forward. Hopefully, those 8K TVs are coming before the Euro 2020, before the Olympics 2020. We'll see if it's on the market and all that. Yeah, this, it's hopefully this coming. would be nice, of course. Cool.